That was stupid. I know it was stupid. Really stupid. Hey, I just said it was stupid. And another similar thing that happened this week with education that really shows the brokenness of our education system came from Bernie Sanders. So Bernie Sanders tweeted this out. Uh, I don't know. I guess this would have been, yeah, this would have been earlier today. So Bernie Sanders says, Charter schools are led by unaccountable private bodies and their growth has drained the funding from the public school system. When we are in the White House, we will ban for-profit charter schools. So all of this going on while Bernie is saying that we should get rid of private schools, there's a couple of things that I want you to notice about this tweet. Any of the things that he's saying there, anything, would apply to private schools. Private schools are also for-profit. Private schools also take kids out of the public school system, which in turn takes money out of the private school system. So you could say that about private schools. If Bernie is going to ban charter schools, you can rest assured he does not like the idea of private schools either. I'm not saying that he will absolutely ban them, but I'm saying he certainly has an animosity towards them, and I would not put it past him to say, nope, it's government mandated. Everybody has to be in a government school. And that really goes into my second point here, is that he says that, oh, these, these private charter schools, they're run by private bodies and they're just unaccountable. They're for-profit, unaccountable schools. Anybody with walking around sense, anybody that has any iota of economic sense whatsoever knows that it is impossible to be both for-profit and unaccountable can't be done. You cannot be somebody that operates in a private free market system that has to produce things that people want and also be unaccountable. That's true of something that is a really big ticket item, like a private school education, like a car. It's also true of the guy making your hamburger or your sandwich. That person is accountable to you. You are paying for their product. And the same is true of charter schools. Charter schools are, are accountable to people. They're accountable to the parents of the children that go to that private school. The same thing is true with the private schools. With the private schools, they're directly accountable to the parents that are paying into the system because those parents can always leave. Those parents can always go to a different school. And so because of that, this idea that you, they're for-profit schools that are unaccountable. That's ridiculous. You can't be for-profit and unaccountable because whoever is paying you, whoever is helping you make that profit, that's the person you're accountable to. And it's, it's just so hilarious that Bernie Sanders doesn't even have enough walking around sense when it comes to economics that he can't realize the obvious contradiction he just made in his tweet. You can't be for-profit and unaccountable. Cannot happen no matter what business you're in. As long as you are operating in the private sphere, you are accountable to somebody if you're making money. Heck, if you're not making money, you're usually still accountable to somebody. But what this really boils down to is that when Bernie Sanders says they're unaccountable, what he means is they are not accountable to him. What he means is they're not accountable or beholden to the whims of the government. That's why Bernie Sanders does not like private schools. That's the reason Bernie Sanders doesn't like charter schools. Because they are not beholden to the government for their funding. They don't have to adhere or play by the government's rules. The only person they are responsible to is the parents of the children they're teaching, which is the way that it should be. And there's a reason that we're seeing a growth in charter schools and private schools, because the public school system is failing miserably. And so they're being held accountable, not by the government, but by the parents that are leaving the public schools and going to private options, even though it costs them more money, even though they're basically, because of that, paying double for their kids' education, they're paying for the education they don't use in the public schools, and then paying again for the education they're getting in the private schools. They're doing both, and they're still willing to do it because of how awful a lot of the, pri the public school system has become. 
And I'm not saying that all public school teachers are terrible or incompetent. Believe me, the reason that I'm here today is because for 27 years, my father worked in the public school system. I don't hate public schools. I'm an advocate for them. But let's be honest, the system is broken. It's not working. And what Bernie Sanders is doing, his solution is not to fix the problem. It's not to fix the private or the public schools. His problem, his solution is to make it to where you don't have another option. See, that's the thing when it comes to people that are advocates of big government. They want there to be nothing to compare it to because they know if there is a comparison, then it makes them look bad because they know they're not going to do as well as the comparison. They don't want to have to compete against anybody else because when they do, they know they'll lose. There's a great line in the movie Ghostbusters, which tickles me every time I hear it because it's just so true. And Hollywood actually used to do things like this every once in a while. Uh, there's a line where he talks about, well, maybe we should just go private. And he's like, you have no idea what it's like there out in the private sector. They expect results. And he's right. The reason that that is funny and the reason that it's true is because in the private sector, people actually do expect a good product for the money that they are spending. I work for a private institution now. I work for a private school. They do expect things from you. They expect it in a public school too. It's just usually in the public school, the expectations are lower because you're not paying for it, at least not as directly as you are in the private school system and you're usually not paying as much. And because of that, the expectation is much lower. See, that's what's so backwards about this. Bernie Sanders doesn't like charter schools and doesn't like private schools because it is a way for people to detach themselves from big government. And to a socialist like Bernie Sanders, the worst thing that could happen, the absolute worst case scenario for somebody like that is people that are independent and do not need the government to help them. That scares the heck out of them, and it should. Now, I know you're here because you're interested in information on what's going on in the state of Alabama and around the world, and you've come to the right place for that. But it's YouTube, so you could also just be here because you're bored. If you want me to keep making videos to keep you occupied, you need to go ahead and like and subscribe. Otherwise, you're going to have to go back to playing Minesweeper.